Jim and I are, are truly believe that we're simply stewards of the land, that, that while um, our time here on earth, that that's our responsibility to care for our cattle and for the land and for the wildlife that live on the land. But we are extraordinarily concerned about the potential problem uh, that wolves could present for our cattle operation. So we believe that wolves have an inherent right to share the landscape with us. They're a native species, and we know that through DNA testing that gray wolves were part of the California landscape. We're extremely excited to see this apex predator make its way back to California on its own. Well, we have had a couple of sightings of a wolf uh, on our Siskiyou County Headquarters Ranch. And um, because we have our slaughterhouse on that particular piece of property, it's an extreme amount of concern to us. I can't emphasize enough how important our cattle are to us. Uh, I feel like we're entrusted to make sure that they live in a safe environment and that they're kept as healthy and uh, protected as possible. Defenders feels it's really, really important to partner with ranchers and livestock producers because they are the ones that are living on the landscape and their, their bottom lines depend on healthy cattle and healthy sheep. And we want to make sure that we see their businesses thrive. On the heels of the reintroduction of wolves into the Northern Rocky States, defenders realized that we needed to do something to help compensate ranchers for their economic losses. In 2010, a federal program came along that was modeled after our very successful compensation program. And so defenders changed gears and we started working more on proactive strategies that reduce the occurrences of conflicts before they actually happen. I think it's really important that we have all parties sit down together. I think we need to collaborate as a group on how do we best solve this problem. And I think it's important that we're proactive, not reactive. What is the practice that we could possibly utilize that would mitigate any kind of loss of life for, for livestock? That's the uh, emphasis that we would like to place on this whole topic.